Hey everybody, it's Jessica from Crow's Nest. I was digging around in my craft room today and I thought I would do a little bit of an experiment. I've already started on one earlier in this week. I had a death in the family, so I had gotten some flowers. And I have been doing a lot of research and starting some floral preservation. So there are two specific brands that are the most recommended that I'm seeing from different uh, preservists, florists, and different things like that. So I have purchased both of these. Now, both of these brands you can get on Amazon. And I can post the links in the bottom, but you'll see the bags and you can look them right up. I mean, they're pretty easy. Um, but I went ahead and got two because I had gotten, went to Michael's and I had a voucher. So I was able to get this uh, brand here, which is the Activa, Activa, and this is actually the five pound bag that you can get at uh, Michael's, and on Amazon they sell the four pound bag and the five pound bag, but I found it was more expensive actually on Amazon, so um, they had a bag of this at Michael's in my town, so I went ahead and got a bag of this, and I have already started one batch of flowers. I'm just going to show you the difference. So the Activa brand is a very blue color and what happens is, is these are reusable. So these are just some flowers and I just put the uh, instructions that's down in the bag in the top um, so I can make sure that I remembered which ones. But these are, they stay blue and once they are kind of oversaturated, they turn um, like pale white and you can actually put them in your oven uh, on a low temperature for a little while and dry them back out. So what I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to use the other brand and some other flowers. So I already have started um, some. Now I got this container. These are pretty deep containers. I don't know if you can tell. But I got these at the Dollar Tree for $1.25. I was not paying $12.99 for Rubbermaid when these things are hard to get off and hard to get on. So I'm pretty confident in those. But this one is actually the Activa brand. And I have some roses and some of the same kind of flowers that I have here. And I already have those going. I've got, um, I've made a couple batches this week. This is going to be the Wise Dry. So this is what this bag looks like. And like I said, I got this one on Amazon. It is a five pound bag. Uh, it was about $26-ish, somewhere around in there. Um, but I'm going to do this brand today. So I've already done one um, set with it. But I remembered like right when I was going to start this set that, hey, I need to get some YouTube videos up. So we're going to just uh, do a quick demonstration on how I do some floral preservation and we're going to try these too because you know normally when I do you you buy the the dried flowers and they are so expensive even if you order them on say Timu or something like that uh, you only get a few and by the time they ship them to you they're broke so um, microwave method pressing method oven method and dehydrator method I've used but now I'm going to try this because um, I was watching a um, really great artist. She's on Instagram. It's EJ Artistry. She does a lot of floral preservation, big tables and things like that. And she said, you know, I was like, what do you use to get your flowers to keep the, the color so great? And she told me, so I'm going to try this out and compare it to the Wise Dry. Okay. So she uses Activa, which I've already done. That was the blue crystals. And then we're going to do a set in the Wise Dry. So what I have done is I have cut these flowers. These are fresh flowers. These are little daisies. I have cut them down to the stem. And what I'm going to do is I've poured about an inch down in here. And I'm going to press them down into the material here. And you want to try to get that base in there as good as you can. Now, I have noticed roses are a little bit harder because they're so much taller. Of course, when I do resin, I have to use a very deep mold um, for roses, unless I'm just doing petals. That one's a little too big. Okay, so now that you have them in there, what you're going to do is you're going to pour, just be kind of gentle, because my container is deep. So you're just going to 
gently pour the top of these. Now, some people say don't cover the flowers all the way. Some say get them covered all the way because that's going to dry out everything. And what you want is this whole thing all the way up the sides, everything covered. And then I usually do a couple of layers, especially these thinner flowers like daisies, especially the Gerber daisies. Those are my favorite. And then also, if you're going from one color to another, you definitely want to make sure that these do not have any contact. Because as they dry, a lot of these flowers is like Gerber Gate daisies and different ones like that, that may be dyed um, through the water, through their stems. Um, they can actually bleed onto your other uh, flowers. I'm trying to do this and not have you all shaking all over the place. Okay, so I'm covering them completely, and then I'm giving myself a little bit extra room to put the extra layer here. All right. So we're going to go with another layer. And what I'm going to do, most of the instructions, depending on the flower, it says, you know, two to three days, something like that. Um, I am probably, typically what I'm doing on this is I'm just letting them go. I mean, one, one, um, restoration artist that does a lot of floral, she actually goes up to 12 weeks. So these just have a little bit of a stem. Um, so I'm kind of sticking those in, but I'm trying to keep the purple from touching the white. It's okay if they touch each other. I just don't want them to bleed onto each other. All right. These little guys preserve pretty well. I've got quite a bit of stem on that, so I may have to wait until later for that one. Okay, next letter. These are just what I had left over, these flowers. Typically, I would do one with the colored ones and then one keep the white ones completely separate. But this is just... Ooh, gosh, I'm going to put it all in there. This is just for educational purposes as far as which uh, type of silica gel I prefer. So I'm going to see which one does the best job. We're going to find out. And like I said, here in you know a week or two when I decide to pull these out, um, I will video that so everybody can see the difference for themselves. And then, you know, you may like the way, you know, Activa works better than the uh, wise dry and that may be your brand but i just wanted to try both of these because like i said i've had you know several people like this brand um i know steve mcdonald i don't know if you follow him on uh, youtube uh, as well he is a resin artist in england and he likes wise dry which is where i learned about wise dry so I've been using that, but like I said, you know, that's the good thing about when you watch other people, especially when you're, um, you know, a resin artist or any type of crafter, when you have a social media platform that you can go on and look at other creators, you may find a product, you know, like a resin product that you like so much better and you didn't even know about it because, you know, you had never heard of it, which... You know, I've ran into that situation several times. Okay. Different resin techniques. You can't use certain resins. They don't work. You know, resin's very uh, temperamental. Okay. And then I have one carnation. I'm going to try to stick him right here. And I'm going to try to get all the petals covered. And I want to try to be gentle because I don't want to just 
squish them all the way down but and then you just cover this up and I just put like a piece of duct tape or a posty note or something like that on there to let me know the date um, but I, I typically do not even check them until it's been a week I just don't want to disturb it if they're not completely dry then I may risk the chance of ripping a petal or something like that I'm just gonna pour the rest on here if I don't have much left in this bag. Okay. Alright, so we will put the lid on this. And we will date it. So, what we're going to do is here in a week or two, I'm going to come back. And we will unveil these flowers, and we will decide. Uh, I want you all to comment, too. Let me know which one you think looks better. Um, you know, because like I said, one person may like the vintage look, because you will get a vintage look in some uh, color changes. So let's just see what we've got. Like I said, we've got the Wise Dry and the Activa. I have got two containers of each, ranging from ro roses to... Uh, baby's breath, some greenery, um, daisies, all different kinds of things in here. So basically there is a container of each type of flower and then we'll just see what they look like um, in here in a couple weeks. So I'll come back and if you all have any questions or want any links, just send me a comment below. Bye-bye.